Hey guys, thanks for stopping by and checking this one out. Um, I want to show you something super fun today, and that is to, uh, well, it's what we call fire bottles. Um, it can be a bit sketchy though, so please don't try this at home. This isn't something I want to hear about anybody getting hurt while they were trying to do it because it's cool. Um, instead, just share this video with all your friends uh, so they can, uh, they can experience the fun as well. Okay, so uh, we're gonna use a little isopropyl alcohol and uh, some amazingly cool bottles, and it's a really cool reaction, uh, nice combustion. Uh, so let's have a look, shall we? All right, so let me show you basically the setup here. Um, we're gonna need something to get our fire started. Uh, we need some kind of a container. In this case, I'm gonna use just a, a simple uh, round bottom flask. I guess it's a flat bottom flask, but uh, we're gonna use that. And uh, of course, we'll need some alcohol. So let me do this a couple times, and uh, hopefully we'll get some good results. Um, so that's a thing. Um, yeah, they should really make these caps a little stronger, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, if we put a little alcohol in here, it doesn't take a whole lot, just a little bit. Uh, the idea here is that if we vaporize that alcohol and get it to coat all these walls, um, then we can do something very cool. So I'm going to uh, let this vaporize for just a second and turn the lights off, and we'll see what this looks like. All right. OK, so we get all that alcohol nice and vaporized there. Roll it around real nice and good. And uh, here's what we get then. I mean, that's fun, right? That's a, that's a ton of fun. Um, so much fun, in fact, we gotta do that again. The problem with doing it again is that uh, that, that, that reaction, that combustion creates water. Um, so this is just water in there now, it won't burn, we gotta get rid of that. So I'm gonna uh, switch over here and we'll use just a clean one. I'm gonna do this again. Let's see if we can get a little better shot for you. And make it look super awesome and amazing. Again, we gotta vaporize that alcohol real well. And I think then, here we go. Ooh, it's a slow starter. Oh, it didn't burn on in. Maybe I didn't get it vaporized. Oh, it might be a little too much alcohol there. Uh, this is a tricky thing to get just the right amount in there. And here we go. Ah, uh, super fun. Ooh, that's interesting. It's, uh, it's still burning. Uh, so there we go. That's uh, that's what it looks like on a small scale. Got a little alcohol on my counter here, so let's get rid of that. Uh, yeah, these are fire safe counters. Don't worry, we're not going to burn the place down doing this or anything like that. Uh, it's perfectly okay. Um, but as fun as that is, it's definitely um, it's not like jaw dropping fun. It's just cool, right? Um, however, if we do it a little bigger, if we run it on a little bit bigger scale, um, it's, uh, well, you'll see. Uh, this is a much bigger bottle and a lot more fun as well, so. Alright, so we get all that alcohol nice and vaporized. Just like show. And this is the whoosh bottle or the fire bottle on a bigger scale. <laughs> that, my friends, is a ton of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a ton of fun making it. I love doing the fire bottles, especially with this big guy. Always a good time, and it's something that I think uh, everybody finds fun and exciting, and, and uh, it's a great way to draw people into chemistry and let them know that, hey, we do have fun. Uh, we do like setting things on fire, but we gotta be safe, okay? So please don't try this at home. Please make sure you uh, like this video and share it with all your friends. Uh, if you feel so inclined, leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and if it's your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And aside from that, I will catch you guys next time.